I'm Jimmy Holland, and welcome to another edition of A Preacher and His Work. We have so many good gospel preachers across our country and around the world, and this is our way of helping you get to know them just a little bit better. We are coming from a special location with this interview. We are at Polishing the Pulpit in Sevierville, Tennessee, and it's always good to be a part of this work. And it's very good to have Brother Russell Klein with us. Brother Russell, I appreciate you sitting down with us today. Thank you. I really appreciate it, too. Uh, what congregation are you currently working with? I'm working with the Madisonville Church of Christ in Madisonville, Kentucky. Uh, we're located in western Kentucky, and uh, I've been there for about uh, 23 years or so. 23 years. Well, how long have you been in ministry total? Uh, I guess it's, uh, it must be close to 30 years by now. Um, I went to the Memphis School of Preaching and graduated in 1989 and been preaching full-time ever since. Well, I'm glad you are. Uh -huh. I'm glad you Thank are in you. the ministry. What motivated you to, to go into ministry? Well, I came into it kind of in a haphazard sort of way. Uh, my best friend was going to go and, and go to Memphis School of Preaching and become a preacher after high school, and he kind of put the bug in me and got me going. I used to be scared to death of public speaking, scared to death of the idea of ever getting up and preaching, but uh, once I realized that I could do it, I thought, well, maybe I could do something really good with this. Wow. Yeah. Well, as a minister, and this is probably the most important question that I think I can ask, as a minister, as a preacher, when you look around the world today, mm -hmm. if you had the opportunity to just share one message with the world, what would that one message be? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, I don't know if I could narrow it down to one. <laughs> There's so many things that are important in the world today, so many things that are needful. But as I think about preaching and as I think about how I got into preaching myself, I would want to encourage other young men in the church to get into preaching the gospel. I'm here to tell you that if I can do it, anybody can do it. Uh, you can overcome your fear of public speaking if, if you have a fear of that. You can learn the Bible. You can discipline yourself and do the academic things that are necessary. Uh, when I went to preaching school, I really had no idea what I was getting myself into and what was going to be required of me, but I was able to meet the requirements. I was able to, to get through it, and once I did, I was able to continue in preaching for a long time. A lot of my former classmates are not preaching anymore, but I'm still going, and Lord willing, I'll be continuing to go with that uh, for a very long time. So I would want to encourage uh, young men out there to think about a career in preaching the gospel. If not, uh, I would encourage you to think about serving the Lord in other ways. Uh, the Lord's church needs godly elders and deacons and Bible class teachers, and that's something that uh, young people ought to be thinking about and aspiring towards. You know, we, we often encourage young people to get an education and seek uh, lucrative employment and that kind of thing, uh, but how many of us really are encouraging our children to think about the spiritual sides of their future and what sort of things they ought to be planning to do in the Lord's kingdom in the future? There are lots of opportunities to serve and uh, we need to be encouraging our young people to prepare to serve the Lord to the very best of their abilities. Uh, again, if, if I can do it, you can too. Well, we need people to take the greatest message to mm -hmm. the world. So, mm -hmm. Absolutely. I, well, I appreciate you being with us, Brother Russell. Thank you I, for having me. <laughs> I appreciate you being with us, and I look forward to being with you next time on A Preacher and His Work. The preceding program was a production of the Fort Payne Church of Christ TV studio located in Fort Payne, Alabama.